what is appearing to us as a, a recession of galaxies away, hence an expansion, uh, is actually part of a larger movement in a toroidal structure, a toroidal geometry of the universe. Um, and that is actually, uh, that, that has uh, observational support. You know, uh, there, there's, there's the infamous dark flow, uh, which you have this peculiar velocity of galaxies where there's a group of them that appears to be moving in the same direction. Uh, now, if the universe was isotropic and homogeneous and just a sphere, uh, this would be very difficult to explain. Uh, but if there's a universal black hole at the center uh, revving up this dynamo, uh, you, you know, you can have a very uh, specific uh, co uh, coordinated movement of uh, large galaxy clusters. And this is observed as well as, uh, so there's other things like the uh, axis of evil. <laughs> they all have these really ominous names <laughs> because uh, they, they threaten the prevalent cosmological model. Yeah, I have uh, some insight on that too from a conversation I had with Nassim um, a couple of weeks ago now or so uh, when I was at his house. And William, you had, I believe it was, you had posted um, an article about how uh, all of the galaxies that we observed are all spinning in a clock, clock they're like spinning like clock, clockwork in, in, in that they all have a rotational period of one billion years. And, and I was like, wow, how could that be? <laughs> all, of the, all of the galaxies, no matter what size they are, are all rotating round once in one billion years, all of them. You know, that's in itself is extremely profound. Um, and so I was reading that and, and uh, asked Nassim about it. And, and he said, well, that's because it is a toroidal uh, shape of the universe. But not only that, it's dual toroidal. And that what we observe, we're in one half of it. And so we observe this, all the galaxies are not only spinning in one billion years, but they're spinning in the same direction as well. And so we are observing this polarized Coriolis force dynamic in, in our toroidal universe, this half of our whole universe. And that, um, that there is um, also, um, I'm just, oh, and that, that the other half of the universe we can't see, um, but that antiparticles are, uh, what do you call the spray coming out of this other Taurus, this other half of the universe. These antiparticles coming from that other polarized side of the tor double Taurus universal system. And so I was asking about, well, that means that it would probably be an accretion disk of some sort in between, just like the galaxies of an accretion disk between two toroidal dynamics. And uh, he said that that's correct and that what they call the great wall and the great void way out there in the cosmos are evidence of this accretion disk. I was able to find this image, um, and it's actually a pretty good um, visual of what a toroidal universe might look like. You have a, a double torus structure here, uh, so um, you've got the uh, expansion out from the disk, from the uh, uh, core, and actually what this particular one is, is showing is that at different stages along the torus, you're going to have uh, uh, different galactic structures. Uh, yes. So um, when it's mm -hmm. first when it's first emitting, uh, you know, it's almost like that, that so-called quark-gluon plasma that existed at the beginning 
And then as it's moving along this toroidal flow, you, you, uh, because of like the, the energy dynamics of different locations along the, the toroidal structure, uh, you get the formation of, of quasars. You know, and so it's actually like uh, the, 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 the location within the, the structure is driving the characteristics of the galaxies that are observed. And so, you know, uh, we are in a pretty um, uh, advanced galactic structure. The, the uh, spiral galaxies, bar spirals, those are, are pretty um, uh, uh, late stage type developments. Um, you know, they, they form late in the, uh, relatively speaking, in the, the uh, developmental stages of the universe um, after a lot of smaller galaxies have usually uh, come together. And so like, you could kind of get an idea of where we would be locating if you yeah. were to look at like, okay, uh, you know, here you have galaxies that are of the level of structure, structural mm -hmm. complexity as uh, what we observe around us. Uh, so maybe, you know, we're here in that corridor structure.